as they were backing up, we heard the beep, beep, beep. Um, the writer of the song it got, became very not serious very quickly. <laughs> We had no idea. Yeah. We didn't know if two people would come or we had no idea what to expect because we'd never done anything like this. Before. No idea. I mean, we were And it's blown changed, away. of course, over the years. I mean, but... tickets sold out in 20 minutes. Yeah. Were, I mean, they were just... It was just, quick. It was really quick. We were just blown away. And, and of course, that gets you so excited. Like, we've, we've hit on something that... that people are obviously are really there was a want need there was a need for and yeah. so that's always just an amazing feeling that uh, when you get that so so um, you know we've tried to keep it in that spirit uh, this whole this whole time mm -hmm. as well so we we really didn't know uh, know what to expect yeah. at all and we've had some amazing guests over there comedians and guest singers and choirs and things like that too so uh, that if kind of uh, fed the whole atmosphere it's definitely and, uh, kind of and and as a result we get to worship the Lord we get to have we get to listen to great music and we get to laugh a whole lot and we bring good food and it's just a it's yeah. a it's definitely a, a concert with amazing music but it's more you know yeah. it's definitely more than that as well so so why did you guys move to the farm in the first place well, you know, we were just looking for a place with land, you know, mm -hmm. that uh, that we could be out in the country. Right. We had moved from Texas uh, when we just had you, Callie, and um, we uh, rented some places. We, we bought a place up in Brentwood, which is just south of Nashville. The first suburb out of and, uh, Nashville, yeah. Uh, I guess we flipped a house. I didn't know that's what it was called then, but mm -hmm. we, we just thought we did something cool with it. Yeah, we worked, we, we worked we on we it. an old house and a good place <laughs> for a few years and I finally was like, I got to get out of here. I, 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 that's all we do is work on the house. So we moved out to the country, which yeah. we always wanted to, to be land. out in the country and live on some land and uh, have a place to go fishing with our boys and all that kind of stuff. So, so and you know, and it was, girls. we were... Uh, our girls like to fish too. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> I know they did. I try to get my girls to fish. We have girly girls. We do. We do. Sort I mean, of. Callie, remember when you played soccer, you were like, can we do this inside in the air conditioning? So, <laughs> but uh, no, I, with my kids, I wanted a place where we could go out on the farm and, and fish and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we, we are blessed to travel across the world. And so it's nice to come to a place that you wouldn't get away from at all. That's what, that's what we really what we really loved about it. Yeah. So for years, I mean, y'all moved to the farm in 2001. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. for years, I mean, from 2001 to 2008, the barn was just a barn. It was a barn, yeah. It was. I bet we have some pictures of that we somewhere. Yeah, I have some. Yeah, but and uh, it was. we kept horses in it, and we had, horses. We had a chicken coop in it, at, uh, and tractor kept a tractor in it, and all that kind of barn, stuff. Dirt floors. And so when we redid it, we really redid an old historic barn uh, to uh, to a concert hall, you mm -hmm. know, and that's when we put the chandelier in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As that chandelier went up, I thought, oh, all of the... Old the farmers. hundreds of to 200 <laughs> years of farmers that have been in this barn have just thought, I never dreamed of having a chandelier no. in the middle of it. In this but, old uh, dairy barn. This old, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's it, it is a it's an old dairy farm. That's what it uh, began to be. Right across the street is the um, we were told is the final mustering ground for uh, one of the final mustering grounds for the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this was an area in history that didn't get burned down in the Civil War. And so, so lots, uh, of lots of beautiful homes, uh, homes and uh, and so uh, you can find a lot of those out around here. And there's caves where people hid out and stuff like that. It really is a very it's interesting. A, yeah, you know what we've always been about family. Um, that when I, when we go out and um, the ministry that we do is about family and about hope and about you know bringing a wide age group of people together. And that's what this has been for us. We Definitely. have we have kids that are in college that buy tickets every year. We have grandparents that buy tickets every year. And that's why it really kind of yeah, has that family reunion kind of feeling. Yeah. And um, so so when we started this, we 
our goal was, you know, we always have said, if this can fulfill a need, as long as it's not doing something for us, like some kind of ego trip or, you know, whatever it is, or just some kind of pet project uh, that we want to do, uh, if this can actually fulfill a need, then we feel like that it's something that can have longevity and something that can can be bigger than us. And so that's what we've tried to do. And it's it's been pretty amazing. I mean, people have made, outside of us, independent of us, they've made lifelong friends. Most definitely. Yeah, that they, that that they depend on and and love and uh, that they've met here at the farm and at we've had people get engaged here and yeah. <laughs> and uh, people have you know their final trip here you know that they've taken in their in their lives and it's just it's been uh, it's it's been something bigger than what we could have imagined you know it really is a, a spiritual uh, uh, kind of a uh, couple of days that uh, we kind of get renewed we all do well I feel like too just that there's many people that wouldn't go to a concert in a certain denomination of a church where some you know whereas this is just it's an old bar and anyone's mm -hmm. welcome and I feel like that a lot of that just kind of floats away because yeah. it's just and you know an what old barn. and in you the know? spirit of that every Labor Day barn bash we end with the song uh, it's a it's a version of the prayer of St. Francis it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Make me an instrument of your peace. I want to know what it feels like to follow you. When men look at me, I want them to see the light of the world inside. And so all of everybody who's involved in our in the Barn Bash, all the family, we all get up on stage mm -hmm. and we all sing that together. There's like 50 or 60 people yeah, on aunts, stage. Uncles, cousins. Yeah, uh, that uh, take to, to put this on and we we give our standing ovation to the fire department and the sheriff department who come out to be with us mm -hmm. and all of the amazing volunteers that make this thing happen. Yeah, it we really could not great. do it without all of our volunteers. Mm -hmm. It's become a community project for sure. Definitely. Definitely. I want you to tell me some of your favorite memories from Barn Bash's past. Charlotte, Richie, and I were on stage <laughs> talking, and the guest group that we had, the bluegrass group, they had parked their bus behind the stage. And they were and, done. And the, they were done, and they were, decided to leave. And as they were backing up, we heard the beep, beep, beep. And that was all during her serious talk about how um, the writer of the song it got, it became very not serious very quickly. <laughs> it was, that, very was a, that was very funny. It's been fun to see the families that started out with small kids and now they're big kids um, that come year in and year out and you only see them that one time a year. Kind of like what well, you said, keep saying that yeah. family reunion feel.